so what we're here to talk about today is a dense pack insulation uh, system with uh, uh, cellulose. Uh, the product that um, uh, that uh, we're working with is a premium uh, cellulose product. Its weather shield is a loose fill. Uh, wall bar uh, material is uh, what we're going to be using today in, in the walls. The product itself is made up of uh, uh, 85% recycled materials, uh, a borate mixture that's added into it that is your uh, rodent resistance, your moisture resistance, uh, your flame retardant, and it's also a part and parcel to a starch that's added in there that uh, is the glue. Now the wall bar material is similar to, uh, the, to the loose fill, but you have got a little more uh, cardboard rigidity to it and then the starch glue that activates with um, the moisture that normally runs through your wall. Once that glue is activated, this product can't settle. With the packing, with the dense packing, and with the starch glue that's in there, uh, this product won't settle over time. You'll see as we're doing this that it fills around all the mechanicals, your wiring, your boxes, your light switches, your pipes. So we all, um, uh, have fought with the batting to try and get that sealed up. With this system right here, you're, you're closing in everything and it's coming around um, and filling that up. So that's uh, as far as efficiency goes, um, because of that complete fill and the density that it's packed to, you have a lot less chance of air permeability. So which means that you're not going to get a convection current in your cavity, which is you're not going to lose your um, R value uh, as the temperature drops or the wind goes up. On a 14, 15 inch cavity for our vaulted ceilings, we're hitting an R60. So you're looking at between 40 and 50% initial savings and then your full recovery of the difference between batting and dense packing in two years or less.